back. I know what you're thinking. Scare Dad, where have you been? Well, what? No one's been thinking that? Oh, you didn't know I was gone? Well, anyway, I am back from the brink of death. Slight exaggeration, but I was sick. I had fever. Whenever I talked too much, I would cough, and I lost my voice for a little while. But finally, after all this time, I am back, and there is a ton of stuff to talk about because we got Transworld last week. We got Home Depot stuff that we're talking about today. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's start right away with the biggest prop in the room. The 12 foot skeleton is back and he's got some interesting new eye features. He also has a companion dog and both of them in a video that just got released from Home Depot Canada show different effects. So it's like a spiral effect on the eyes that you can see on the dog in the, uh, the skeleton. It looks like the same spiral, but in the background along the, the edge of the building, there's more 12 foot Home Depot skeleton heads and you can see one has uh, hearts in its eyes, another one has stars. So it's some kind of weird effect that you can do with the eyes for an upgraded skeleton. And the same effects appear to be in the skeleton dog. So interesting. I don't know if that's what I needed for the 12 foot skeleton. Uh, does not look like we're getting any kind of motion with the jaw, which is kind of what I thought they would go with, but it is an update. It's interesting, we'll have to see more. So next, let's talk about the Servo Frankenstein. Now, this Frankenstein monster, again, on the Instagram video, we just saw the arms go up and down, the head turns, it's got the moving eyes, and the mouth moves. So, it doesn't look bad. The, the face kind of looks mask-like to me, so I don't know if I love it. And the mouth uh, is moving, but I don't see any hint of like teeth in there which I think would really help the way it looks. We see in the video the head kind of going side to side, the eyes moving, the eyes look great, the arms are going up and down. So I want to see more of it. It's not bad. The clothing looks kind of cheap in the photo. It looks a little better in the video, but that might just be because I'm not looking at the clothing in the video. Yeah, no, the clothing's still terrible. So yeah, I'm not loving the Frankenstein. I don't hate it. It's cool. And maybe for the few tweaks, it could look really good. The clothing definitely has to be changed because I do not like that clothing. And I think if you could give a sense of teeth in the mouth, it might help. But I'm glad to see that they're doing a Frankenstein's monster because he's a cool character. We need some more representation. So nice pick Home Depot. Next, there's one more in that video. It's the Plague Doctor. And his movement, it looks like the body turns and the head turns and the arm moves the staff back and forth, like out away. It looks cool. You know, it's a plague doctor. It's got the kind of glowing blue eyes and lantern's pretty standard looking lantern for what we've seen. There's nothing new there. It looks like a decent prop. Depending on the price, it's gonna determine if it's worth it or not. Clothing looks better on him. So I do like that. So yeah, Plague Doctor, not bad. So it looks like they're bringing back the ultra poseable skeleton and it might be a corpse version too because there's a corpse looking skeleton but it looks like it's got the bending fingers. So I think they're using the same framework which would be awesome. I think all the skeletons going forward should be using that type of body because it's just better. It's just better all over around. So that's very cool. And speaking of the ultra poseable skeleton, it looks like he's been turned into a headless horseman. They took the basic skeleton horse, it looks like. He's kind of reared up back on his legs, so that's cool. It looks good. It looks like the ultra poseable skeleton is what's riding on him with the headless horseman clothing and he's, the skull is in the hand. It's got the same eyeballs. I don't know if it's moving at all or if it's just a static prop. It looks cool. Depending on the price, it could be something I'd be interested in. But we'll have to see. But it's definitely a cool way of kind of reusing some of their the props that they have to turn it into something different. So 
I like that. Uh, I'm curious to see more. It's not bad. Now, one prop I really like to go with Dean, the bartender, is gangster skeleton. And he's just, he's got like his whiskey and he's got a cigar in one hand. He's got cards in the other. The glowing red eyes. He's got those cool pinstripe pants with suspenders and the black shirt with the tie. Awesome hat. I really like the look of this guy. He's super cool. If he's the same price as the Dean and the uh, maid from last year, definitely be interested in him because he looks great. He looks cool. They have the right voice to him and everything. Could be a very good prop. Now one I'm interested in this year, mostly because we are going to be doing a pirate theme for our haunt. They have a pirate. Regular pirate, not a skeleton. He's got a parrot on his shoulder. Doesn't look too bad. It, the clothing, again, like Frankenstein, looks absolutely terrible. It just looks cheap. It does. But the face doesn't look bad. The sculpt, you know, looks pretty good. Uh, I'm curious to see what he what he says and how he moves. Uh, because he's got the beard and mustache, it's probably just a disconnected mouth jaw like that that's just covered up by the beard, which is fine for a prop like this. You don't need to go with a, a nicer face, probably. So... Curious to see it. I think it could be cool. It could be something I pick up because I need some pirates for my pirate ship. So, gotta keep an eye on this one. And now, we've got very similar to Distortions Unlimited, but probably on a smaller scale. They've got a haunted tree. It's got a purple light inside, but in the background you can see another one with a green light. So the light either changes colors, or you can change the color of the light. It looks cool. You can see how it pieces together. There's maybe four parts and then the arms. I like the way it looks. It's very cool. It's something I could definitely could see myself picking up. So depending on the price again, pretty cool. I like it. So if you look behind Frankenstein's monster, there's three things that interest me. But one that doesn't so much, you can see Sitter of Souls behind him. Yeah, cool, she's back. She's fine for a cheap prop, but didn't do anything for me last year. Still doesn't this year, but She's back, so yay. But there's a cool looking, pretty tall Grim Reaper. I don't know if it's a 12 foot or a 10 foot, but it looks pretty detailed. It's got a nice big scythe blade on the top. I think it looks cool. I'm curious to see more if it has movement or what it is, but I like the look of it. Kind of that decayed, gnarly looking skeleton, so very cool. Another thing is it looks like another one of their gravestones, but it looks like a gargoyle. It's far away, so it's very hard to tell. But it could be a very cool gravestone or a top or whatever this is going to be. I like it. It's cool. We need more gargoyle stuff, so that would be awesome. Especially after Lowe's breaking my heart with that awful gargoyle that's taking a dump. <coughs> so hopefully this is cool. It's not an animatronic or anything. It looks like it's just a, a tombstone, but could be cool. And then, under Frankenstein's monster's arm, it looks like... The costume kind of reminds me of like a, a Nosferatu type thing. It's kind of one foot in front of the other. It's got this like buttons on the jacket. And um, so I don't know if it's like a vampire, Nosferatu inspired type character, but it could be cool. I'm hoping we get some more pictures of it later tonight. I would love a good Nosferatu prop, so that would be awesome. You can see in the background of the 12 foot skeleton dog companion. They have the Grave Digger from last year, but he's got the costume that looks very similar to the Grave Digger from the year before. They had the shovel like up on the shoulder, and I think he had a lantern. It looks similar to that costume, so that's cool. I think it's good they changed it up. Hopefully it'll say something different. Now, if you have one of the other ones, you probably don't need this one, but you get a lot of bodies to bury, then you might need it. Another one of the tombstones, it's like a skeleton holding a, a woman. Home Depot gravestones always usually look pretty cool, so that, that's cool. I like it. And something else they have is a pumpkin archway. And this looks pretty cool. The picture's kind of grainy. It's far away. I'm curious. I think the pumpkin stack would be really cool, something I would love to have. And uh, yeah, we'll see more of it when we get a better picture. Not only is the three-foot skeleton back, the representation of the 12-foot, but there's a three foot of the Inferno pumpkin skeleton also coming out this year. So that's cool. If you have the other three foot, this is a nice one to go with it. Cool. I can appreciate it. Uh, behind the Plague Doctor, uh, somebody blew it up so you can see it a little bit better. In the window, there's something that looks like a kind of like a creepy scarecrow. I'd like to see more. It's kind of hard to get the details, but that's my impression. And I think it could be cool. So we'll wait till we get more on that. So that's all I've got right now to show, but 
Home Depot 2024. We're finally getting some views and I'm not super impressed yet. I'm not super disappointed either. There's definitely a few more things we haven't seen yet. So curious to see what they are. We're not done yet. So Home Depot so far, I'll give it a B. The motion for the ones I've seen in motion actually looks really good. So we could be getting some really cool stuff. Thank you all for watching. I'm so glad to be back with you. You guys blew my mind while I was away that I reached a thousand subscribers. And kind of weird I hadn't posted for a month and that's when I hit it. Kind of made me think, some of you were thinking, if we keep getting people to subscribe, maybe he'll never make another video and we won't have to watch that terrible humor. Sorry guys, I'm back. Yay! But anyway, thank you all for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this. And of course, stay tuned for more videos because we've got more Home Depot info coming. I still got to talk about Transworld, Beastcraft, new distortions on limited stuff. I got to get back to my battle between 2023 versus 2024. I got my skeleton to finish animating. I've got another prop that I started last year that people have been asking to see finished. That's getting pretty close. I, I got to get that out here. I got a lot to do. There's a lot coming. Now that I'm not sick anymore, we're going to bust into the spring and bring you lots of content. So thank you again. I am Scare Dad. Spooky season's coming. So go get ready.